Well, guys, I just want to curse. I'm going to try not to, though, because I know that there are those people that can't stand listening to uh, curse words, and they think that it is an abomination, and you're going to go to hell if you say, oh, oh, well, I can't say it. I don't want to go to hell. You know, we are babies. I'm sorry. Look, if you get offended by what I have to say, then I hope that you take a look at why you are offended. But the majority of Americans are really wussy little babies who are so, yeah, immoral, 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 and don't even know what the hell integrity is. Integrity means you are living the principles that you speak. You live them. You don't just speak them. You know, in listening, I, I don't know why I did this to myself, but I saw that there was a, you know, a live broadcast of these senators getting up to speak and vote on uh, Judge Kavanaugh. And I just Oh, listen to two minutes of Dick Durbin. And let me tell you, we are a truly sick, sick, diseased nation. This guy, I, they always pat one another on the back. They glorify themselves. They glorify each other. And these are the quote-unquote leaders. Now, that children are looking up to as if these are the people that are propped up on national stage and children actually look at them as if they are you know the examples of how to behave how to live it just makes me sick to my stomach it is so repulsive disgusting to listen to these people talk about integrity integrity Dick Durbin Dick Durbin no Republican I'm a loyal Democrat we have adjoining states and we find some things that we can work on in common I want to say personally to him thank you for your leadership on this committee I think there are moments when the White House and even your staff got the best of you but I trust you to talk uh, grassly in terms of where this committee is going. You have it within your power to restore, restore the traditions of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and I hope that you will. I'll join you in that effort. I want to say a word about Dianne Feinstein, too. Oh, She's been the subject hard. of more attacks by my colleagues than I've ever heard any member face in the Senate. It's just not fair. It's Dianne just Feinstein not is fair. Dianne Feinstein. How could you possibly attack that woman? Really, Dick? A woman of integrity. Oh, she is a, a woman of integrity. Are you kidding? You know, the fact is, most Americans, they don't even know what that word means, what it looks like. Yeah, I am sick of this country. Americans thinking that they are exceptional. Americans thinking that their shit don't... Oh, I cursed. Their shit don't stink. Oh, they speak a really good game. But they live rather despicable lie, lies and despicable lives that reveal that they are full of crap, the majority of Americans. And that's why all of this persists. Why not listen to Dick Durbin talk about how Dianne Feinstein is a woman of integrity when so many American women think that they are women of integrity and there's nothing, nothing, uh, that they demonstrate that is worthy of they feeling 
that they have integrity or <laughs> anybody else that they live around. If you can't see how Americans are so a part of this nightmare that we are living. They listen to this horse shit. Now look at this woman. Some of her expressions are like, mm, I don't know about this. What, Dick? Are you kidding? Diane? Integrity? I posted this video. I posted many videos on Diane Feinstein and how corrupt to the core this woman is. How grossly disgusting is her core, immoral, despicable, repulsive. I can't even think of a word that is, that captures how disgusting this woman is. She's a treasonous, disgusting pimp. and prostitute. Pimp. She voted for the Iraq War. And in voting for that war, she made herself very wealthy. Very wealthy. Senator profits from war. She sat, she sat on the Senate Intelligence Committee and gave no big contracts to her husband, either directly or indirectly, and made that was the start of the great wealth she and her husband acquired. American soldiers died their lives destroyed. Afghanis, Afghans, Iraqi, innocent people, the blood on this woman's hand, hands are, are just, it's dripping. It's dripping. You can't even see the hands. They're just so covered with blood. But she made an awful lot of money. So who cares, right, Diane? I got to make money. These are the people that we prop up as if they have any integrity at all. But you know what gets me? These people, they speak no different, no differently than most Americans. Because we don't know what morality is. We don't know what it means to live a life that, you know, is a life of integrity. We don't know what it means. We actually think immoral behavior is integrity. We actually believe that as long as we can make an awful lot of money, we've got integrity. As long as you can get into a position of power, wow, you're special. You're incredible. This country is so unbelievably fucked up, it's amazing. It is unbelievably amazing. It's just so glaring. And I don't even know what to say anymore. I am so sick of this. Senator's husband's firm cash is in on crisis. Is this about the war? Uh-uh. No. This woman never stopped. She never stopped. Senator Dianne Feinstein introduced legislation to route $25 billion in taxpayer money to a government agency that had just awarded her husband's real estate firm a lucrative contract to sell foreclosed properties at compensation rates higher than the industry norms.
corruption charges in the clean tech crash case. Uh, the corruption of Senator Weinstein. You can read this. I go through a lot of the corruption that this woman has been engaged in. She has used the Senate to increase her wealth, to become extremely wealthy and live a really great life. All of these bullet points. Lists only some of Diane Feinstein's corruption. I didn't even know about the Bolivia. Feinstein family held war profiting, profiteering contracts in Afghanistan, Bolivia, and other regions, which held the exclusive mining contracts for Solyndra and Tesla chemicals. We are so unbelievably drenched as a nation in just such corrupt beings and then they applaud themselves and exalt themselves and claim that this one or that one is a man or a woman of integrity and you wonder why these children born to Americans are so messed up killing themselves drinking drugging having sex all over the place not giving a shit about anything because everything in this country is meaningless except money and you know what as children while they might might not be able to articulate it or even communicate it very clearly to themselves because they may not have those cognitive skills yet they feel it they know it this country is full of shit and nothing is real and everything is just a lie and you have to live amongst people who don't give a shit about anything only their own life don't ever disturb my comfort with anything that is negative negative yes everything has to be positive as more and more people have to suffer the consequences of such a positive, exceptional country. I am, I, 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 I am so, I live shell-shocked. I live shell-shocked that we can still listen to these people. <laughs> Praise themselves and each other. What is it going to take for Americans to grow the hell up? Grow up. Grow up. To stop being a self-centered, egotistical, human being. What is it going to take to burst their bubble of delusion? What is it going to take for them to rise up and demand something better? It means that they have to be better, but they're not. They're not. We are such a profoundly sick, disturbed nation. 
with so many people who are well adjusted to it. And you can never manifest a healthy society when you have such sick, twisted people in it. Who just talk a good game. I'm a good human being. I'm a good person. I'm moral. I have integrity. And all you have to do is watch how they live. And it all falls apart. You know that they're living a lie. This country, it was built on a lie, and it's being <laughs> demolished on a lie. Great. Fabulous. Well, for those of you who get what I'm saying, for those of you who actually live the principles that you speak, for those of you who know that lying is wrong, you know what I'm talking about because you see it too you see it too you see it all around you so to all of those who think that Americans are not to blame you've got to come out of your delusion and face the hard cold reality of what we have been living, what we are still living here in America. A people full of shit. <laughs>